Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. Today we will have our 85th lesson in our vocabulary series, vocabulary words, day number 85. Let's get going. The very first word we have here is 446. And the word is Negate. Negate. What does it mean to negate something? If you negate something, it means to make something invalid. To make to make something invalid. To make something to make something ineffective. To synonym of negate would be to nullify. If you nullify a contract, that means the contract is no longer valid, the contract is no longer in force, contract is no longer in effect, it has been nullified, it is negated. It also means to deny, to deny, to cancel out, to cancel out, to void, negate. And the noun would be negation. The noun would be negation. Ni gation. I know it's very simple pronunciation, but you know this is a, this is just what we do. We write down the pronunciation for every single word no matter how simple the pronunciation might be. Negation is the noun. Let's move on to the next word. The word was negate. The next word we're going to learn is I think this marker is dying. I don't like it. Away so we don't pick it up again. The word is nu go tor e. Nugatory. Some people pronounce it as nu, the first syllable, and some people prefer to pronounce it as new. Nugatory, nugatory, nugatory. Nugatory. What does it mean? If you describe something as being nugatory, you're telling me that it is of very little value. Of very little value or importance. Or importance. Very little value or importance. If something is of very little importance, if something is of very little value, you say it is nugatory. It is trivial. It is trivial. It is trivial. It is trifling. It is trifling. Notice the word trifling is has only one F, not two. So if it's trifle, it means it's of very little value, it's trivial, it is of no importance, or it is, it is of very, very little importance, it is nugatory. Do you understand? Let's move on. Next word we want to learn is a straightforward word. A four. A four. Four means before. Before. A four. Mentioned. Something that was mentioned before. Something that was mentioned before. A four mentioned. A four mentioned. A four mentioned. Something that was mentioned before.
mentioned previously. It is not it is not the term that you will find in the everyday speech or writing. It appears in, 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 in official documents, in legal documents, where you will say the aforementioned person or the aforementioned building or the aforementioned property, whatever it is that they're talking about. Uh, what they're saying is that we now we're going to discuss the same ta same property that was mentioned before earlier in uh, aforementioned property or show aforementioned uh, building or aforementioned person, whatever it is. Aforementioned means we mentioned it before. It was mentioned earlier. That's it. As I said, it's not something we do. It's a very formal term. It's a very formal term. Typically, it appears in the legal jargon. Typically, it appears in the very official legal documents, bureaucratic documents, aforementioned. Let's move on. The next word we want to learn is. The next word we want to learn is. As or thing. It's a verb. I realize it's a verb because I was about to tell you what it means, and I realized therefore it would have to be a verb because it means to do something. It means to ascertain means to make sure of something. To to make sure or certain of something. It means to be sure. It means to be sure. It means to be to be definite. It can also mean to examine something. It can also mean to examine something. For example, for example, if you ask Michael, Michael, why didn't you do your homework? And Michael proudly tells you, Mr. So-and-so, you're not going to believe what happened last weekend. We were sitting outside in our yard and this saucer, a flying saucer landed in our yard and they kidnapped my grandfather and my mom and I, we had to go back and get in contact with these people and then we had to go back uh, go to the go to this uh, this and this place and contact them and this and that and finally we got our grandfather back from the alien finally we got our grandfather back from the alien and of course by that time I had no time to do my homework and the teacher says well well I would like I would like to ascertain yeah, which means to make sure, to make sure, I would like to ascertain, to make sure, I would like to ascertain the veracity of your story. Veracity means truthfulness. Truth, full, Yes. Veracity is the word that we learned on day number 38. We learned on day number 38, today is our day number 85, we learned about veracity. Veracity means truthfulness. So what the teacher says is that Michael does a great story, it's a very touching story. I'm very touched that you went through all the trouble to get your grandfather back. But I would like to speak with your mom, but I would like to speak to your mom to ascertain the veracity of your statement. Ascertain the veracity of your story. To make sure, to make certain that what you're telling me is true. I would like to ascertain the veracity of your statement. Let's move on then. The next word we're going to learn actually is not a word. The next, next one is not a word. It's an idiom. Not only is it an idiom, but it's a very colloquial idiom. It's a very informal idiom. Let's learn it, shall we? The word here was ascertain. It's 
is colloquial. Which, which is a word that we also learned before. Colloquial simply means informal speech. It's a colloquial idiom. And the, in, the, in the idiom is on the up and up. What does it mean when someone says I would like to make sure that everything is on the up and up. Everything is on the up and up means it is open and honest. Open and honest. I saw something very suspicious going on in my neighbor's front yard. In my neighbor's front yard, so and they were they were not home, so I called the police just to make sure that everything was up and up. Everything is straightforward. There is no trickery going on there. There is nothing untoward going on there. There is nothing fishy going on there. Do you understand? Everything is on the up and up. Everything is on the up and up. Everything is straightforward. Everything is honest. Everything is the way it is supposed to be. Let's move on to the next, next word, which is a very simple word. And the word is U sitch. Some people pronounce it as usage with an S sound, usage, or some people pr pr prefer to pronounce it with a Z sound. Usage. Usage or usage. They are both acceptable pronunciations of these uh, of this word. Usage, usage. Which is just we just which is just a, no, a noun of noun of use. Noun of use. Noun of use is usage. If something is no longer used, you say that it is not in usage, and which means it is not used anymore. It is not in usage. That's all. That's all I had for today. Bye now.